Hey everybody, Pelican Tacos here. Are you ready to do some uh, shopping? I love shopping. Shopping all day. Shopping till you drop. Let's do it. All right, first thing we're going to look at is uh, there's three different methods of shops that I have seen that I will show you. First one is called the honor system, and it's the easiest and by far the simplest here. So it's just a command block hooked up with a button or a lever or plate, and it just gives the nearest player the item and one of it. And so it's the honor system because uh, when you purchase it, you put in your gold ingot. So for example, here I want a minecart, so I'll take one, drop it in there, come over here, push the button, and I have a minecart. So that is definitely the easiest. It's called the honor system. It's a slash give. And uh, if you're looking for something easy and simple and you trust your friends, then hey, by, my, by all means, do this one. Uh, before we get to the next one, I want to talk about you know, how the command blocks work here. With the redstone signal coming in, uh, you can activate all five of these command blocks just by one switch here. So for example, here I click on this one. Um, the middle one is the middle, top is the top left and left and so when I right click it says all five of those middle bottom top left and right and notice it stays the same each time so if you want some in specific order middle comes first then bottom then top then left and then right right you're the last one sorry so if you need to know that uh, that's good little helpful hint uh, the second type of shop is called the XP shop and this one is more of a medium style shop this is a little bit harder to do uh, it's a little bit more redstone intensive but the idea here is that you come up to the red the plate here, right click on this. This is a, called a test for. This tests for the player, the nearest player, and to see if they have a level minimum, experience level minimum of five. So for example, let's turn my game mode to survival. I have a minimum level, a level of one. So I right click, right click again, test for to see if the nearest player has a minimum level, experience level of five. Well, do I? No, I only have a minimum experience level of one. So I come on this plate, nothing happens. All right. And just to give you a little bit of a setup, you got the pressure plate, again, command block, redstone, redstone, up on the block with the redstone torch up against the wall. Redstone coming into a comparator with uh, the right click method with that torch up. So you gotta make sure that torch is up. And then that one drops into XP, gives you XP, and it takes away five levels, minus five levels to the nearest player. And then the top one will give you the minecart to the nearest player as well. So for example, let's come up here and let's give myself five levels. Boom, I get a minecart and notice my levels drop down to one. Pretty cool, pretty simple. So if you wanna have something based on XP, this is definitely the way to go. This one's actually Pretty simple compared, or, you know, compared to the, the last one here. We'll look at it in just a second, but this is definitely um, the the medium style one if you want something a little bit more unique and you know you might not trust your friends or something. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, next one. This is the scoreboard method. This one is very difficult, but it's so stinking cool. All right. Uh, first things first is you're going to set up your account. So when you come in here, going to right click on this and my account is set up by doing that I hit um, once you set up your account you gotta hit tab and notice now I've got a zero down on the right side and I've got a zero on the top of my list I've created a, what's called an objective called dollars and so basically I've created this account and if I want to add five dollars I click on that take away five dollars click on that and I'll just give myself a whole bunch of money <laughs> and that's pretty cool, huh? All right, so let's talk about what each of these things do. To set up your account balance, you're going to want to come over here, and these are the three different command blocks that I have. First one coming into it is scoreboard. And this is a type of command, scoreboard, and we're going to deal with the objectives. An objective is like dollars, for example. So um, this is not the right one. Let's see. This is the right one. Scoreboard. Still have objectives. We're going to add an objective called dollars, and we're going to make it a dummy category dummy dollars so what that means is it just doesn't really affect any other gameplay or anything like that so add dollars and it's going to make it a dummy dollar uh, double dummy uh, objective all right let's go back to the middle one here scoreboard objectives set display sidebar so we're going to actually put the display up on the right side of the screen 
and we're going to call it the sidebar and it's going to be dollars so we're actually activating that and then this one right here scoreboard objectives set display again list dollars so this is the list up here and on the right side is the dis the sidebar display does that make sense so this is kind of what you need to do with every player they come in comes into the game you want to have them activate their account if you go and make a bank or something like that you can just have these three things as you walk in pressure plate whatever now to talk about how you actually give players some money you know just right click on this button this is pretty easy you just say scoreboard players having to do with the players instead of objectives like before we're going to add the nearest player give them dollars we're going to give them five pretty simple scoreboard players add dollars five and then you can imagine you come over here this is the one that removes it scoreboard players remove at p dollars five so nothing terribly difficult with that so if you want to just have kind of an automatic system here um, this just shows you you know how easy it is to do that all right one thing i want to show you is you could end up having a negative balance so dollars negative 15 negative 20 so I actually owe the bank money so if this happens, uh, what I would recommend is that you create something like this. This is what I call the no debt management system. So I've got my comparator loop. Come up here, I've got my lever there. And my first one tests all players to see if their score is negative one or lower. So if I'm in the negatives, it will actually activate the comparator here. So here's my comparator. And then I come in here, scoreboard players, we're going to reset that nearest player. We're going to put their score to zero. So watch what happens. Again, reset the player. We're going to test for their score to see if they've got a negative one score. And let's add it up and watch my score on the right side. Notice what it's going to do. It's going to go away. I hit tab again. It comes back up and it's zero. So And then we can test it over here. Watch. If I give myself negative five, it actually goes back to zero. All right, we can do that over and over again. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's just talk about how you'll actually set up a shop here. This is, uh, for example, this is my minecart system. It's $5. Let's go give myself some money here. And what this does is if I have $5, which I do, I'm going to step on this pressure plate, and boom, I get a minecart, and they, aw, store, thank you. Thanks for your purchase. That's so nice of you. You, you paid and you get a my card. Pretty cool. Do it again. Can I do it again? I can't. So there must be a test for there to see if I actually have enough money. So let's look how this works. Got the pressure plate there. A couple command blocks. The one under the pressure plate is another test for. Tests the nearest player to see if they have a minimum of five dollars. Dollars min. Notice before it was just nothing and that meant max. So test for five. And then it goes into a comparator, which is not ticked. And it's got these three command blocks here. One of them says, thanks for your purchase to the nearest player. Middle one says, scoreboard players remove $5, just like we had before, except it was connected with a button. Now it's connected to the test for uh, and the pressure plate. And then the top one is the give command. So you're just going to give your character a minecart. Now, on the other side, let's go look at the other side here again. So let's just look at that for a minute. All right, over here, uh, I've got a repeater, some redstone, redstone torch, and then a lit redstone coming into the comparator. So now what happens, if I come up here, change my key. All right, come over to the pressure plate. Now notice what happens. I step on this, it activates that repeater in the redstone, turns the redstone torch off, therefore allowing the comparator to go through to those other three command blocks. So pretty awesome setup there. Uh, this one actually is just, it's so cool. I'm giving myself a little bit more money here because I'm gonna go shopping. All right, so I got 20 bucks and uh, I wanna buy some dirt. Boom, boom, let's get some dirt. <laughs> All right, and I've got some more dirt with some grass on it, boom. I love it. Cobblestone and one piece. You're not that important. And stone. Sweet. All right, let's run this down real quick. I've got a little special feature on these ones. It's got set up. So now 
Am I going to be able to have enough money? No, it tells me I don't have enough money, which is pretty cool. Whereas before, it just didn't let me buy it. This one I've got it set up, so it tells me something. We'll buy one more, and then we'll go buy more. And it says you don't have enough money. And the difference here is everything's pretty much the same, except I've, I extend the redstone a little further, with a couple repeaters. And in here, it tests to see if you have $0. Now this is one less than the actual purchasing price. So notice I come here, I've got a minimum of $1, right? Because it costs $1. Well, your test for over here, test to see if you have a maximum of $0 or one less than the other one. And then a comparator, a couple of redstone repeaters. And this one says, you don't have enough money, dude. Can't buy it, sorry. So let's go back over to this further one down here. I wanna talk a little bit about the difference between this one. The previous one tests to see if you had zero dollars. This one tests to see if you have one dollar because this one has a minimum of two to purchase. Right? This one was the two dollars for that stone, the refined stone up there, and it tests to see if you got one dollar. So pretty cool. Let's take a look at that for a second. Pretty awesome, huh? Okay. So that's, that's the, you know, my storefront. Um, one thing I do want to mention is you want to make sure that the players can't get back here or at least close to these command blocks because they are the at P's, which means it's the nearest player. So for example, if I was able to actually stand right here, I might be able to steal that person's item if they're on the other side and therefore messing with them. So you don't want to, you don't want to make sure that you can't do that. All right, now how do you give yourself some dollars? Well, you know what, you could go dig and get some gold which I've got some gold ingots here. And we're gonna go into the first bank of Pelican Tacos, our ATM. Come on in here, here's my ATM. And I'm gonna lock the door so that nobody comes in here and messes with me, right? So this system is old, so please deposit your gold slowly, otherwise you might lose some of it, thanks. All right, come in here, put in your PIN code, one, two, three, four, actually, no, you don't put your PIN code in. All right, so we stand right here, and then we're going to give ourselves some golden nuggets. And what we do here is we just drop it down. Oh, wrong one. Drop it down, and I give myself a dollar. Boom. Ingot. So I can just keep dropping down. And watch, I'll do it really quickly. And it gives me only five. So make sure you just kind of take a second as you're depositing it into the hole here. I'm going to put a whole bunch there. And it only gave me like one or two there, didn't it? Okay. So pretty sweet system. Let me show you how this works. You got the hopper there. Oh, yeah, don't forget to close your door, open your door. Come back around here. Destroy some of this. Now, again, the same thing, command blocks here. You want to make sure that you've got uh, people, you know, further enough away from your command blocks. So we come back here, and notice I've got a hopper down there. I've got two hoppers, one connected to each other, and let me just stand on here so you can see it better. So I've got one hopper there, another hopper there. I've got a comparator there set to active mode. Got some redstone, redstone there with a repeater. Got that block there. That block is crucial because otherwise it'll stay on the whole time. Get the redstone. Let's take this down a little bit more for you. Boom, so double chest, hopper, hopper. This is your command block that actually adds the dollar. So um, however price much you want, you know, I could make it so that each ingot is worth $5. And so I put five there and then I come back here and you can just guess that what's going to happen when I add my one little nugget, it goes up by five. I think I said an ingot earlier, didn't I? So now this is a nugget and we've made it go up by five. So I'll give you a little bit more here, a little bit better view. You got two hoppers. That, that's the hopper that drops it. This hopper is pretty crucial because you got to have 18 in there and then one of those nuggets in there as well. Uh, that's just a setup with the game so that nothing changes. This is kind of like the trick there, 18, 1, 1, 1. And then you've got the redstone, 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 redstone. This is your chest that collects everything. And then you can have a chest down there that drops. And then you could have a, a you know more system of dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. But this is, again, your command block. It's going to add how much ever you want per item. That is your comparator. And then watch, we come back in here. All right, so if I do this, boom, I drop it in there. And what's gonna happen is it turns this on just enough to get the repeater going. Boom, turns that on. 
hits the redstone torch and deactivates the redstone torch just enough to drop one of those nuggets inside the chest and therefore activating the command block. Pretty cool system, huh? Yeah, pretty awesome. So that's the, uh, the bank of Pelican Tacos. Your money is safe with us. Yeah, baby. All right, so that's pretty much it for the scoreboard. There's a lot of other things you can do with scoreboards in terms of teams and capture the flag and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, this is definitely just for shops and giving yourself some money and setting up an economy for your world. So pretty cool, huh? Go to work, do it yourself, and uh, see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Pelican Tacos, baby.